vs Nidia only on ET Now. Dr. Narayan, what do you make out of today's move? We've crossed 4,900 on the upside. A good comeback, so to speak, some sort of a relief. But the point is, if it does not hold beyond 4,950, can we still say that we are in the larger scheme of things not yet out of the woods? Well, I think, Devina, you use the correct word. It is a sense of relief. There is no doubt about it. So we have to term and... We do have this particular term for it called uh, called the relief rally. So most certainly at the you know at the beginning of every rally which comes out of a deep trough like the one we created across the last uh, six to eight trading session would have to be labeled as being a relief rally. Uh, it is staying up up above 48.50, which is what is the minimum that I would want it to do. And now it's pushed past 4,900. So the higher it goes, the more relief that we actually feel. And I think more and more the people will be actually encouraged to enter with some long positions. We are seeing a fair amount of breadth and fair amount of leadership. Most of the stocks are in the green and every sector is showing a rally. So it's clear that uh, shorts are being closed out across the wide front. Fresh buying of some sort of bottom fishing nature is in progress. So and typically we find that any rally which comes out of a trough like this usually lasts about two to three trading sessions at the minimum. So barring any uh, overt, uh, let's say, negative news from anywhere, I think this is another rally which should last at least about two, three sessions and probably uh, propel the index uh, closer towards 5,000. Mm. Mitesh, are you also of the similar opinion that... Uh if we do maintain this, we could probably propel ourselves towards that 5,000 mark. Yeah, I think that would pretty much be the call. Uh, but then we want to do it a little bit cautiously because uh, we don't have yet all clear signs that everything is a go. So I will take a slide out of the money, uh, this ratio spread 4950-100. Uh, use a 1 by 2 spread on it. Uh, the cost of it should be somewhere on 30, 32 rupees right now. So anything upwards of 49.30 or 49.35 would put me in profits in case the market were to move higher. And then I would be uh, in, you know, in the money till about 5,300, which is like a fairly wide, uh, wide band to be profitable at this thing across. So I think I would take a fairly cautious one. Uh, 4900 and 5100 ratio call spread 1 by 2 which is what I would initiate right now all right uh, there you have it the nifty strategy is slightly out of the money right now 49 to 5100 the ratio call spread is what we're taking at a cost of 30 odd points if you were to see the last three to four trading sessions you will see bars of the bank nifty and today it's going to be a large bar so would you say that this is maybe a turnaround uh, a Bullish engulfing pattern, so to speak, if I'm not mistaken. <coughs> See, we have to differentiate between two things. One which we call as a low and one which we call as a bottom. You know, they are different in, uh, you know, in terms of a degree. We had an oversold situation in the last week when absolutely everything, including the bank nifty, nifty, stocks, you name it, they were all smashed down to levels where the, uh, you know, the downside momentum had actually got overdone. This actually creates a low. It does not create a bottom. <clears throat> in terms of a candlestick pattern, it does not differentiate between a low and a bottom. You know, bottom needs to be actually uh, certified by other sets of elements. So if you are looking purely at a candlestick pattern, then a low and a bottom would look very, very similar. And from both, you will actually see a rally. You are seeing an oversold bounce. Now, what you, what you are seeing right now, which we discussed earlier as being a relief rally, or you call it an oversold bounce, they are all rises from a low which then needs to be uh, actually retested uh, with maybe a higher bottom, with maybe a double bottom, with maybe a slightly lower bottom, changes in momentum, volumes, etc. So many things. So right now I am classifying what we have seen as of last week as being a low, an oversold low from which we will see a rally which includes Bank Nifty and almost all the other stocks as well. So the, from, from a candlestick pattern it will look different. But from a larger perspective, this is not a bottom, this is a low. All right, this is not a bottom, this is a low, so just a perspective on that as well. So could see some further downside coming about.